Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. So real quickly, I had a dream uh, last night. Um, there was some type of business transaction taking place between a woman and a man. For, for our divine feminine out there, I think it's a man you either dated or a man that loves you. Um, and he was paid to reject you, basically. She paid him to reject you so that she could feel like she defeated you. Um, so basically, this is a woman that paid a man uh, some type of, some amount of money under the table to reject you, to forget about you, to not care about you, to not love you. And we all know that's not how emotions work. You can't just pay people money and then all of a sudden they stop loving the person that they're in love with. Someone is very pathetic out here. I don't know who this woman is. I saw her in the dream, but I didn't see the masculine. Um, but what I saw was two people sitting at a table. I don't know if they went out to eat or they went to some type of bar or something. And... She gave him some money under the table to kind of seal the deal. Um, and what I picked up on the masculine is that he may be having some type of financial issues. So he's in a fender bender. So maybe he didn't feel like he had a way out of the situation. Like that was his last option, his last choice to get some type of money. I don't know if someone lost a job or something like that, whatever it is. But he's going through some type of financial strain. Um, and this woman came in and made an offer to him. So that he could re or reject you. He could forget about you. Basically not care about you. Leave you isolated or something of that nature. Um, it's like she's trying to draw him in with some type of finances. Make him feel like, oh, you know, you're going to be living this good life. They're basically trying to pull this man in to, uh, I don't know if that is gaslighting someone or making promises to someone if they leave you out in the cold, their life is going to be better without you. You're not worth their time. Uh, they need to let you go, something like that. You are a lost cause. You're not. There's something where it's like a woman wants, you, wants a man to think lowly of you. This is a woman that is in competition with you. Uh, she may even be interested in this man, but he's not really interested in her. So it's like, it's like the feelings, the feelings. Or the feeling is one-sided because it's not reciprocated. He doesn't care about her. But she doesn't want him to care about you because that's her way of feeling like she won over you. She defeated you. Except this man still loves you. Like someone is like dying to be in your energy to just kind of hear your voice. Be able to just touch you with your pinky finger. Something about this man and you. Like this man loves you. I don't know if like someone cries over you. Uh, whatever this is, but pretending to not care about you is has become a bit of a task for this man, and he may end up throwing in the tower because whoever he's around, he knows they're just emotionally manipulative. This is not even someone he should be around. And the funny thing is, like this person, the masculine that I picked up on in the dream, this is not someone that cares about luxurious items or ways of living. This is someone that comes from a humble beginning. So it said whatever she's trying to entice him with is not even worth his time because this is someone, again, like I said, comes from a humble beginning. So paying him to reject you so that she can feel like she defeated you or so she can feel victorious is stupid as can be. And this woman that I picked up on in the dream is so pathetic. I, I've never picked up on an energy this pathetic before. And it's like the people she's working with, they see it. And I don't know if because she maybe is paying them to do something, paying them to collaborate with her. Uh, they're not saying it or they're just acting like she's not. But whoever I picked up on in this dream, 
this woman that I saw in this dream is very pathetic. Like someone is desperate for attention. They want to be seen as the victorious one. They want, they want to be seen as the better option. But someone is really just karmic. All she does is think about you. How she can cause endings for you because someone is in a one-sided competition with you. The sad part is you may not even know this person. Or maybe you know them but you're not really familiar with them. You're not well acquainted with them. Uh, but they're in a competition with you. And people are maybe fed up with this woman. Um, someone may end up humbling her uh, and telling her, like, look, you know you're not even on this person's level. It doesn't matter how much money you have. When it comes to spirituality, it comes to gifts, it comes to class and all of that, you're not on this person's status. So why are you doing this to yourself? But whoever I picked up on in this dream, who I saw in this dream, needs a lot of help. Like, I don't know if you all, if you truly care about this person because she thinks she's around friends. If you really care about this woman, you may want to pick her, put her, pull her aside and talk to her so she can go find some type of healing assistance. Go get therapy or something because I don't think someone understands how desperate something looks, how immature and how pathetic something looks to be paying people, especially someone that's in love with a, with a woman, paying him to not love that woman. That's not how you it works. If you had two senses to work together, you would know you can't buy people feelings away you can't just give a man or a woman money and then all of a sudden they fall out of love they're like oh well you know i got two hundred thousand dollars now you know i'm just gonna stop falling in love with this person i'm just gonna stop having feelings for this person it's like that's not how it works you're lying to yourself you're lying to yourself there's something about like i don't know if a man was having a hard time paying his expenses his bills or something and she's been invading his privacy and seeing what kind of money he has coming in or what kind of money he doesn't have coming in so she knew exactly what to talk to him about what tactics to use meaning to talk to him about helping him like how can i help you you have any financial needs that i can uh meet uh because she already knows he's not have, he doesn't have a lot of money coming in. Like someone is going through a little bit of a financial fender bender. So she knew all of this. They, they don't hack into his account, phones, everything. Like they know everything that's going on in this man's life. They may even be trying to get him to find out what's going on in your life. Trying to block, trying to get him to work with them to block your stability, block your resources. But you're standing up for yourself and speaking up for yourself, standing your ground. Which is what your ancestors are guiding you to do. And things will turn out in your favor. These people are doing nothing but sabotaging themselves. There's some type of ending karma coming for these people. And unfortunately, this masculine is going to be part of this karma. Because he did choose to work with these people. He did choose to accept this offer. Um, and we're not going to judge him. Because you never know what you'll do in a situation. There's something where it's like this woman is setting up a scenario. Setting up some type of situation. To have you, the Divine Feminine, in some type of sticky situation. And she's just really eager to see how you're going to be stuck. And you won't have any way out. Little does she know that's not how it's going to go. Because you are never going to spend a day in prison. You're never going to spend a day in jail. Someone is plotting something so that you can get locked up. And you don't have a way out. Because there's some type of fraudulent paperwork that she and a group of people have created to make it look like you are guilty of something you're not guilty of anything and the law is going to figure this out already like someone is very pathetic and they're intimidated by you someone is just like i don't know what the thing is with this woman but when i when when she comes to mind all i'm being given is the word pathetic like someone is pathetic she and the karmic people she's working with, not everyone in this community is karmic, but the group that's working together, they are all pathetic as can be. Okay, you got to be a special kind of pathetic when you got to pay to have some type of victory. And you know it's not a victory when you got to pay to have it. That's what losers do. That's when you know I don't stand a chance against my opponent, so I'm going to buy my victory. I'm going to buy my win right it's very like it's very i'm insecure that's what it's that's what it's giving that's what it's giving i'm very insecure there's something where it's like they're plotting us to come up with some type of uh fictitious job position they're supposed to send you some type of uh 
communication about a job position they have for you is not a real job position. I don't know how clever these people think they are. It's very, it's giving immature. It's giving a group of people that think that they are so intellectual. They are so crafty. No one knows. No one's going to find out what it is they're doing. No one's going to catch on to them. It is so, oh my gosh, I can't. I'm about to hurry up and get up out of this energy because this is not what I got time for. But listen, we got to give the messages, okay? Like these people are working hard to figure out how to send you this communication about this fictitious job opportunity. They don't craft it for you. You're supposed to, to show up for the job interview. You're supposed to be all enthusiastic that you are getting this stupendous job offer that's going to pay you a ridiculous amount of money. And baby, you ain't going to be responding to nothing. You're not interested. It's like, it's like your ancestors are giving, putting you 10 steps ahead of these people. So he's supposed to be the one to what? Come in and give you the offer or bring something to your attention or whatever it is. And it ain't happening. It's supposed to be like, oh my gosh, I got this amazing job offer. I'm not going to be doing whatever it is I've been doing. I'm, I'm about to be living the good life. And, and you're just about to be out here bombastic, side eyeing them. Like, really? Really? Like, they feel like they have everything figured out. There's also something where it's like you're supposed to show up to the interview and someone is supposed to show. I don't know if, like, you're supposed to get arrested for something. You're supposed to get set up for something, get arrested, and then you can't get yourself out of a situation. Or you're supposed to end up in some type of fender bender, no money, no assistance, out in the cold, go into poverty, broke, busted, and disgusted out in the street can get yourself out of whatever situation you're in and then you go missing or something because they'll come, they'll send someone in what to take care of you. They're trying to stop some type of meeting between you and another energy that wants to partner up with you. These people are very desperate to do something to stop you, to block you. I've never seen like a group of people where it's like not even one person in the group has enough sense to say, yeah, we probably shouldn't be doing this. It's time to throw in the tower and move on with our lives. There are people behind the scenes that are fed up with this woman and she just doesn't know it. And someone may end up giving her a piece of their mind and just telling her F you and have the life that you deserve or have the day that you deserve because you need a lot of help. Oh my girl, sister, you need help. Like, desperate and pathetic is the word I've been giving for you. Like, you know you can't win against an empress. So this is why you've been taking actions behind the scenes to sabotage this woman, sabotage a union, and you're living afraid, right? Because you know this person is still going to be having the offer that they are supposed to have, and they're going to be having some type of first start in life. People are going within and starting to self-actualize and take charge of their lives because they're tired people around you want to heal and do better different things with their lives but you just don't know when to let go and this is the truth for you 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 don't get it you're the only one on this ship of we got to destroy this person everybody else is tired of you and your hatred get all over yourself your insecurity is so loud it's repulsive but it's not repulsive to you because you don't know how to go within you don't know how to read the room. Everything is about you. Just insecure and don't know it. This man don't give two Fs about the money you give him. There is nothing you can say to this man that's going to make him stop loving whoever it is he's in love with. Whoever I picked up on comes from a humble background. So he understands life from a different perspective than you do. And that's something you will never be able to comprehend. There's some type of sticky situation this man is in, and that's why he accepted the bribery that you gave him. If it wasn't for that, baby, this man wouldn't be entertaining you a day in your life or his life. Because your energy is repulsive to him. Someone is having a hard time pretending to not care about who it is you're telling him not to care about. This is a king of cups you give money to. Or maybe he's showing up as a king of cups because he has a lot of feelings for this empress energy. You're pathetic. And we're not going to call him pathetic. Because like I said. This brother is going through a lot. Financial issues. Like she had to pay the tap for them. It's what I picked up in the dream. Because I saw her put the money on there. That like she was 
matching him or something or balancing it out or he couldn't pay she paid or something like that and then she gave him money under the table literally so it seemed like they were there to eat but they were really there on business this woman don't got no friends it's all clients she got clients she don't got friends okay and this is why she's jealous of someone else because when people connect with you divine feminine empress energy it's because you're genuine people are genuinely interested in interacting with you Ain't nobody interested in, act, in interacting with this woman genuinely because of her character, because of her personality, how she carries herself, how she talks. Someone does nothing but gossip about an impressed energy and you don't even know much about this woman and she don't even know much about you. You probably don't even know who this heifer is. But she's been paying people to invade your privacy, trying to find out information about you so she can keep pretending to be you. Some of them got so addicted to pretending to be you that they think they're really you. She actually believes she is you. And she's having a hard time draining your energy or harvesting your energy, getting information on you. So she's just out here buffering. You got to be BSing me that people are like this in the world. In this day and age we live in, we still have pathetic and desperate energies like these out here. Causing mayhems in other people's lives. Just so they can feel good about themselves. Out here destroying relationships and things like that. Connections. Just so they can feel good about themselves. Baby, that man is bombastic, side eyeing you. Like, what, what a pathetic creature. And it don't matter what kind of financial situation he's in. He knows you are pathetic as can be. If this man was where he was supposed to be financially, baby, he wouldn't entertain you. Don't care how pretty you are. Because someone has substance. No matter what he's done, someone has substance to themselves. And there's some type of regret this man has. Some type of betrayal he did against this empress that he regrets. And it's because of a financial situation he's in. Not because he cares about you. Not because he cares about the fancy things you're offering. Maybe he feels that going back to this empress is not an option because the empress know what he did to her. Baby, this man will not be entertaining you. Okay? Like, that should let you know where you are and what your role is. You are there to give money. Something I've picked up about you is that you feel alone. Uh, you are insecure. You feel rejected by the world, but you got nobody to blame because of the way you live is why people treat you the way you are. You think you're better than other people. Money don't give you class. Substance, character, moral, principle, values gives you class. Okay? My gosh. I can't stay in this energy too long. Really out here paying somebody so that they can reject their lover. This man is in love with this woman. And more than likely, he may never get to get with this woman again. Uh, and it's going to hunt him for the rest of his life. But at some point, he'll heal and he'll find someone else that he can be happy with. Hopefully. Uh, but baby, that man don't care about you. What you're offering. He don't care about the luxurious items that you have, the lifestyle that you are promising him, he don't care. Someone just feels bonded and stuck because of their financial situation. And that's it. That's it. You're pathetic as heck. You got to do all this to feel like you won. You have victory. Is that really a victory? Are you serious? You're out here collaborating against a queen of pentacles, waiting for this person to be out in the cold, waiting for this person to be down and out, broke, busted, disgusted, taken out. Like you're actually out here paying for people to sabotage a queen of pentacles that don't know you because you don't want this woman and another man partnering up. Whether it's the ex or a new partner, you don't want her in a relationship because if she's in a relationship, then you feel insecure. You feel like she defeated you. How dare she be humble, down to earth, educated, beautiful, and be and, and, and be married or be in a happy relationship. She has everything. I only have my money and your insecurities. Talk about that one. That's the one we need you to go take care of because this energy you're giving is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. 
some there's something where it's like a woman is promising people a whole lot of money a whole lot of abundance and you only have access to this abundance if you do what she says if you stay where she says you can stay like someone likes to control everybody she's a puppeteer she likes to control everything and everyone around her and can nobody stand her nobody likes her nobody wants to be around her they only tolerate her because she got the money or she has access to the money and she can control the money at any time she don't want you to have access to it she shut your act she, she uh blocks your access to it is that really luxury is that really wealth when somebody can easily just block you from it that is not freedom you are in prison you're living under some type of false person there's some type of illusion you are delusional each and every one of you and i think this is why these people are so gun ho on helping this woman because they don't want to know what it's like to not have access to all of this money that she has granted them access to they don't want to know what it's like. Like they're forced to do something. Most of these people don't want to participate. They don't want to collaborate with this woman. But it's a lot of money involved in something. And if they decide they don't want to partner up with her, they don't want to do it anymore, then she takes their finances away. She takes their access away. So now they got to start their lives over. If they start their lives over, she's behind the scenes blocking them. Blacklisting them. All kinds of stuff. Like this woman is someone is horrendous someone is wicked someone is malicious like void likes empathy and just walking around insecure as can be and masking it as confidence you're not confident if people don't know what you are really after they watch this video they're gonna find out this is an insecure malicious person walking about the face of the earth she ain't never had anything the genuine way this woman has had to undercut everybody to get to where she is. Nothing of substance comes out of her mouth. All she knows how to do is steal, destroy, and more than likely have had people taken out. This is someone that takes that destroys people's careers. My goodness. It's a king of cups as well in a community that's been collaborating with the whole community. This could be a different king of cups, but they've all been collaborating to destroy someone's finances, an empress's finances. It's a, oh, we're going to make sure they're so stuck, they won't be able to get out of what we're, whatever we're setting them up for. Little do you know, there are people behind the scenes that are privy to what it is you all are doing, and it's going to backfire horribly. Oh, don't be scared now. Don't be scared. And they're doing all of this so you don't receive an offer from somebody. Somebody cannot give to you. Like they want to take you out before somebody makes it to you. This is how wicked these kind of people are. This is how wicked they are. Okay? Whoever this King of Cups is in a, 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 a community or whoever your ex is, don't got no feelings. I'm telling you, they don't have any feelings for this Queen of Pentacles. Whoever he was meeting with. It's the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles with the three with the three of Pentacles. They had a meeting. She bribed him. He accepted the bribery to what? Not have feelings for you. And that ain't how it works. He said, "Don't you just gotta forget about her? Just move on with your life. Just act like she doesn't exist. Don't look her up. Don't research her. Don't watch her. Don't do nothing. You're someone on social media where they coming out that way." She's paying him basically not to watch you, not to support you, not to see what it is they're doing to you, not to feel bad about what it is they're doing to you, what they're planning for you. Just wicked. There was a meeting between these two. It was a meeting to sabotage you, to end you, to end his feelings for you, but it ain't working. This man ain't going to be able to pretend for too long because whoever I picked up on the amount of love he has for someone else don't make no sense and whoever he was meeting with baby he didn't even like this woman he wasn't paying her no mind he was just worried about his finances and whoever you are thinking about you the whole time they have much to say during the meeting that's how crazy it is she did most of the talking during the meeting he knows he remembers but in the dream i was getting all details details this has to do with a ten of pentacles they don't want you receiving some type of communication about a Ten of Pentacles, whether it's an offer 
or some type of partnership, whatever it is, the whole family, institution, collaborating against an empress energy, trying to block love and fulfillment, trying to block your ears of pentacles, things you're investing in or taking actions to destroy it from behind the scenes. Because this is a wicked dynamic that got together. And this king of cups from your past, I don't think he knew what he was getting himself into. He does not know what he was getting himself into. Okay? They're paying this man basically to not have feelings for you. How does that work, Sway? How do you just wake up one day and you just don't love someone you've loved for a long time? Or someone you have a lot of feelings for? How does that work? They say, just leave her out in the cold. Okay, don't worry about her. Don't, 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 don't think about her. By the time we're done with her, you won't want nothing to do with her. We're going to keep her from having wish fulfillment. Keep her, keep having, uh, keep causing endings to her with investments, to her work, uh, tempering with uh, karma, good karma playing out in her life, tempering with justice. We got connections in the justice system. We're going to make sure she's trapped and can't get out of whatever this is we're setting her up for. And it's going to be what all of the plans, the plotting, is going to be a loss. Because somebody is still moving forward victoriously. There's something where a woman, this insecure, pathetic, dispersed, desperate energy, thinks because she has money that she's God. And God is about to show you who's God. You, bet, you best walk away. You look like a joke in front of your whole community. Your whole community. You literally met with somebody's ex or somebody's lover so that they could turn their back on someone. You paid them. You paid them under the table. I literally saw her take the money under the table and pass it to him. But on top of the table, it looks like you're just talking, having a regular conversation. Uh, he's asking him. I don't know if he was trying to pay rent or something to stay in his apartment or home or whatever. And she's telling him that uh, asking him, excuse me, she's asking him what, uh, how much more does he need or something like that. And she, she, uh, completed the money. So he had a certain amount and he needed a certain amount. The amount he needed, she gave to him and then some under the table. Come on now. Come on. This woman went and bribed someone so that they can say they don't love a woman anymore. You crazy. That ain't how love works. You crazy. <laughs> He can pretend, but let's see how long he, this man is going to pretend with you. Thank you. How long is he going to pretend? Not very long because the truth will always come out. Nothing in the dark stays in the, nothing in the dark stays in the dark forever. It will always come out to the light. Everything. Hear him go confessing his what? True emotions. Hear him go right there. Already. Trying to find the strength to live in his truth. Trying to find the strength to confess what it is he's done. Baby, that woman know whoever you're going towards. If they're an empress, they have some type of intuition. All empresses don't have a strong intuition. But whoever this one is, uh, I'm seeing the freaking uh, temperance out here below her. And the seven of wands is a source. Oh, they got an intuition. They know what you did. They know what you did. I don't think she's even holding it against you. She's wishing you the best because that's how empresses move. They're, they're telling you, I wish you the best in life. I don't think that woman holds any type, of, any type of ill intent against you. Someone is not upset with you, not mad, not bitter, nothing, ain't jealous of nothing. If you're married, she's wishing you the best in life. She wishes you to be happy. Because I'm seeing it from my perspective, it will, if it was me, like my ex is getting married, good. Like, hopefully this woman can keep him happy, right? That's what you want for people, for people to be happy in life. For people to be content. If if you if you hear your ex's name and all of a sudden you're getting angry and bitter, you haven't healed yet. You're still holding on to some wounds or something. If you hear your ex and you're hoping that they're happy, you're hoping that they're doing good and things like that, you've healed and you've moved on. You've healed and you've moved on. This man accepted bribery, but he's still trying to figure out how to live in his truth. How to clear things up with you. How to balance things out with you. It, I'm telling you, that's how much emotion someone has for you. But I don't think this union is coming together. It's not coming together. Some, 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 there's a contract between you and this man that's over. And because of choices he made. Choices he made. Your contract, you, your contract with him has been void. 
and I don't think it's because you don't uh, you, I don't think it's because you like have any type of spite for this person, but I think it's the fact that you've learned the lessons that you need to learn with this person. And I don't think you two really can have like uh, some type of friendship where it's like, I, I don't know what this is, but I don't get any type of ill intent from the Empress to this man. Because she's showing up here with the temperance energy and it's a source energy. That means she's very straightforward, direct, heal, balanced, easy to work with. But she ain't looking for no connection with this man. It's like the past is in the past. Let's move forward. Something like that. But this wicked, desperate energy here. Oh, all she does is gossip. If she's with this man, all she does is talk about you. Bad mouth you. But he knows the truth. This man can pretend all he wants, but he knows the truth about that empress. So this Jizzy Bell, Succubus, Incubus spirit can say all the lies she wants to. She can do all the manipulating. But at the end of the day, that brother knows that Empress like the back of his hand more than likely. Or he knows the truth about that Empress. And he knows most of the stuff that woman is saying about her don't even hold water. It, 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 it's not true. But he's in a sticky situation. He's living in fear. He's in fear. If I leave... What's going to become of me? Am I still going to have access to this money? No, you're not. She's not going to She's not going to be giving to you. You're not going to have access to this money. Nothing. That's how she's been controlling people for a long time. You don't do what she says. She blocks your access to your money. That's how she operates. Slime me. Just slime me. Been doing it for years to people. Been doing it for years. And she's afraid of you taking action, Queen of Pent Queen of Swords, uh-huh, to, to move forward. There's something where you keep going and it's pissing this woman off. It has her afraid. It's that she keeps going. I'm destroying her from behind the scenes and she's still going. It's that you don't get it. You still don't get it. You're still incompetent as can be. You don't get life at your age. Because this is someone mature that I'm picking up on. But they act immature. You still don't get it. It don't make no sense. This woman don't get it. How can you be that age and not understand life? Talking about we've done everything. You just keep going. She's going to stop working. She's going to stop doing whatever it is she's doing. Whatever you're out here doing, Empress. Look at you still move. Girl, come on. I'm telling you, still moving on. And whatever assistance you're supposed to be getting, you're going to be receiving it. They're trying to sabotage you so horribly that you are out in the cold. Whether you have children and stuff, they don't care because this is how insecure this woman is. She doesn't care how your her how her actions or their actions affect you or your family. Whether you have little ones, she don't care. This is someone very bitter, bruised, and broken. Just a narcissist walking about the face of the earth. The people she's working with, she don't give two Fs about them. She will block their access to finances in a heartbeat. She will turn on them in a heartbeat because it's all about her. All about her. She feels powerful. She's the judge, jury, and executor. Executioner, excuse me. She's everything in one. And people cannot stand this woman. Can't stand her. When they hear her, Oh, my God. When they hear her voice, oh, my God, here she comes. How long she's going to be here? How long do you think she's going to be here? Why is she here? That's what people say. That's what people say. Oh, my gosh. Why is she here? What happened? Just trying to figure out what happened. And then when she show up, they're trying to figure out how to get rid of her as soon as possible. Is that don't ask her any questions. Just listen when she talks. If you don't respond, she'll stop talking and she will leave. Just do as we like the new people around her. They don't want to let the new people around her. People that are familiar with this woman or whoever this is. If a new person is around, uh-uh. They'll tell the new person, don't ask her no questions. Nothing. And if you do, when she leaves, you got problems. Why were you asking her all those questions? If you keep asking her questions, she's going to keep going. This is how people feel about her. People are about to be looking at a woman in a community as nothing but an insecure little girl just walking around. Don't got nothing going on for herself but money. 
Money may not even belong to her, by the way. She just has access to the money. So it's that everything she's been doing to people all these years may end up being done to her. Oh, you like to block people's access to their finances? Let's block your access to these to these finances. You forgot this money don't belong to you? Oh, she forgot. She forgot. She forgot. Baby, you're about to be reminded. This is not your money. This is not your money. She's about to be re reminded. There's a king of pentacles. I don't know if she's trying to manipulate this king of pentacles too. That if he goes towards uh, an empress energy, he's going to lose it. That man don't get two Fs. Like, he may even have his own money. And she's out here trying to manipulate him that he shouldn't assist you. If he leaves, he's not going to have access to this. He's going to lose this. This is going to happen. That man don't care. Somebody got their own money. He's showing up as the wealthy man. He don't care. That's... You, you, this is stuff movies are made. This is stuff from the movies. This is stuff from... Someone really thinks they're in a movie. And she thinks she's the main character. It's a delusion. This is a narcissist, sociopath, psychopath walking about the face of the earth under some type of illusion that she's in a movie. She's the main character. It's all about her. F everybody else around her, whether this is a company. F the clients. F the patients. F the workers. Everybody burn her. She got clients. She don't got friends. She got employees. She don't got friends. People don't want to hang out with her at all. They hang out with her because they have to, not because they want to. That's a difference. That's why she doesn't like you. Because what? People want to be around you genuinely. This one got to fix it. I don't know who this woman is. I'm picking up on so much in details. But a sister got to fix it. I don't nobody like being around this woman. She got money in her and she makes decisions in a community. I don't know what community this is. I see the three of pentacles out here. This could be any kind of business, but she holds the upper hand in this community. So people tolerate her. It's, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Sasha. It, 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 it's Maria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She signs our check. She approves our check. So we got to listen to her. Baby, please. This is sad. This is not how you treat people. Just because you have the upper hand. And sometimes people don't know that the Most High is testing them with how they handle power. What's that cliche line that says, with power, with more power come more, more responsibilities? Well, with great power comes great responsibilities. Whatever this is, this sister don't give two Fs. Say, responsibility where? I don't got to do nothing. All I got to do is copy paste what everybody else is doing, uh, steal everybody else's work, pretend like I did the work. I can barely write. I can barely write a, a, a proper sentence. But you know what? This position here, Gives me a lot of money. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this position and keep tormenting people. Okay? Is it someone... Someone mind... I don't know if like someone used to be on drugs or something. And it effed up their mind. Or someone has just always been this way. But someone is intolerable. Intolerable. Like it's a whole community or group of friends or something just suffering under one energy. And it don't make no sense. She didn't build the business. Didn't do nothing. She was given a position more than likely is what I'm picking up on. Because she ain't showing up here as a business owner. She's showing up as someone that has money. That has money. And has been paying a whole lot of people to do stuff behind the scenes. To an empress energy that's actually an empress energy. You could have a wealthy man that may have betrayed you before and he's in some type of distress, feeling disappointed that he did something to you. And I think this is why he's wanting to come towards you. Maybe the universe has touched his conscience or something. Whatever it is, it'll be balanced out. It'll be figured. I ain't here to judge people. I'm, I'm sick and tired of this storyline. Okay? I'm sick and tired, folks. I'm sick and tired. These people are working my last nerve in my bloodline. Listen, my ancestors and I, we are tired. Because these are people that just don't get it. These, these aren't young people, by the way. I'm picking up on people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, that just still having gotten to the point where they understand life. They still don't understand life. It's so simple, but they complicate it because they make it about the good, the, the, the good things, in, the luxurious items in life. The fake living will do anything for clout. 
the money, the material things. That's what life is about them. And they've missed everything else. All the clues the universe was giving them along the way. Hey, you're supposed to be learning this lesson at this stage. It's said, uh, forget that. Hey, you're supposed to be learning this lesson at this stage. Eh, forget that. Hey, you're supposed to be learning this lesson at this stage. Eh, forget that. Now they're in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Don't know a goddamn thing about life. All they know is how can we steal from people? How can we block people to make sure things go in our favor? How we, can we bribe people to work with us? That's all they know. Nothing else. No other skills. All they know how to do is manipulate, uh, block offers for other people, hinder other people's life. Because apparently those are the skills you need to thrive in life. Those are the skills you need to be, to be the best versions of yourself. Those are the skills you need to ascend in life. Come on now. It, it's sad. It's, it really is sad. You all got to do better. When you don't know better, you do what you what you can. But when you know better, you got to do better. You can't keep doing the same thing for freaking 70 years and thinking it's okay or expecting a different result. This is some type of strategy they've done on a lot of other people before. And she's getting upset because it's taking a long time to defeat you. And she ain't fun to defeat you. You are not going to defeat whoever this is. Like someone has already defeated you and you don't even know. And you're still walking around talking about, just forget about her. Here's the money I promised you I was going to pay. Just forget about her. Don't look her up. Don't think about her. Just act like she's not even there. Meanwhile, she's bribing other people behind the scenes to cause this woman's endings. Block this woman. Destroy this woman because she's so insecure and bothered and intimidated by this woman. This could even be someone that's older than you, Empress. Sad. Someone that you should be learning life lessons from, but you can't learn nothing from her because she's not someone of substance. Just pathetic and desperate walking around. Come on. Come on. And these are the kind of people they will take and put as the head of organizations because of what? The color. The color. Yeah, this king, this man of high honor, whoever this is, wealthy man, whatever it is, king of pentacles, king of, I really don't give no damn. He is in remorse because he betrayed you. He feels like he lost some type of really important connection with you. And he went and partnered up with a queen of wands reverse that's very determined to destroy you. Like someone is an airhead. Just as Veen, Void, as their Queen of Pentacles reverse in a community, considers herself to be someone of high honor. Being of high honor is not just an exterior thing. It has to do with your interior as well. How you treat people. Come on. Yeah, they're trying to block you from being seen. Trying to block your voice. Your image. They don't want people watching you or paying attention to you and you're still going to be seen. It don't make no sense. This this kind of stuff is what you what you see in movies. I'm not about to spend too much time on here. It's already 42 minutes. This stuff ain't worth my time. Uh, they, they, come on. They're trying to sabotage you from being seen. Trying to just destroy everything you're building. Because these are people that don't know how to build on their own. They got to come out here and fake the funk. Do things for clout. For attention. Meanwhile, you don't give two Fs about attention. You do something simply because of the joy of it. If it brings money, good. But these are people that will take your words. You see how I just said that? If it brings money, good. These are people that will take your words and manipulate it. Take it out of context. And, oh, well, since she said she doesn't care about the money. Since he said he doesn't care about the money. Let's block their money and see how long they're going to be doing this. Every freaking day of their life. Every freaking day. Of their life unless they're sick or there's something that comes up and they're not able to do it they're going to keep doing their job because the most high will always have them covered you see how they came out as the sun you don't do everything you can think of to destroy someone and they're still coming out as the sun that means the universe is protecting this person you don't got no protection you have to manipulate to have things go in your favor that's all you've been doing your whole life everybody around you never knew that but they are going to know now there's going to be a court case that's coming up and there will be people speaking up and letting others know, oh yeah, she did this to me. They uh, they did this to me a year ago or they did this to me 10 years ago. I couldn't talk about it because, you know, it was something that was done from behind the scenes and I didn't have any proof of it. And you're going to have a whole group of people coming out to validate exactly what it is you've been doing to them behind the scenes. You're ma malicious, evil, vain, wicked creature. 
just embarrassing to humankind. A sorry excuse of a you. What is wrong with you? You don't treat people this way. How are you collaborating with people and still trying to destroy them from behind the scenes? And they're still happily collaborating with you. Headed for poverty, no friendships, no connections, nothing. Don't got no connections to each other. Going through karma, getting a taste of their own medicine, but they're still determined to stop someone that's not doing anything to them. You see how you know how this star C is out here with the, the this child on here. That's how innocent whoever it is you all are trying to destroy is. Like someone hasn't done anything to you all. And they're still moving forward in victory, in abundance, in support. Skip to my loop. Skip into her loop. Down the yellow brick road. By guidance of the universe. Okay? It don't make no sense to be this malicious in life. It don't make no sense to be this hateful in life. It don't make no sense to be this focused on another person's life. People are tired. I'm picking up on a masculine energy in this group. He is so tired of the hate. This man is so tired of the stupidity, the insecurity, the immature action. He's tired of it all. This man is about ready to spaz out on you people if you don't get the heck up out of his face. He is tired. Like someone sees you all for exactly what you are. And he sees you all as a bunch of kids. Knuckleheads. I think it's what he calls you all. Because you just refuse to grow up. Trying to tell a man what to do with his own money. Who the F are you? Who are you? So this, let me, let me tell you what's about to happen for this person you're trying to destroy. The universe is taking action to balance things out for this person. It's not by way of mankind that this is happening. This is a universe taking action to balance this situation out for somebody. Because someone has done a lot of work to get to where they are. Wherever this empress is and the reason why you hit them because they're in this healing energy is because they've done a lot of inner work that you refuse to do. There's some, this woman, whoever this is, hates for people to self-actualize. Do not go within around her. Do not think. Do not uh, 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 sound smarter than her because this is someone that's dumb as heck. You know those airheads, those bubble heads that just wobble, 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 wobble. You move them a little bit and they're just wobbling because there's nothing upstairs. That's what this is. And because she don't know nothing she is intimidated by people that know a little something or more than she does or a little bit too much. If you know, if she picks up on you that you are smart and you have a mind of your own and you are an individual and you move to your own beat, this woman has a problem with you. She has a problem with you. Okay? Has a problem with you. She does not like people that think for themselves, does not like people that have an identity, know who they are, it bothers her because this is someone that don't even know who she is. Don't know who she is. Ain't putting in effort to know who she is because what? She got money. And again, the money ain't hers. It ain't hers. Sis got poverty coming to her and she don't even know it. And she's still walking around making orders. Giving orders to people to cause you blockages. Ordering her fellow uh, narcissist. And these people, I don't know if they're just choosing to. I don't think they're just choosing to. There's some type of sticky situation they're in. I don't know if they feel binded. Some of them, it's not even that they feel binded. They just don't care. They just want to see you destroyed. They just want to see you out in the cold. So they don't mind if they got to lie on you. They don't mind if they got to set you up. Commit some type of fraudulent activity so that they can make sure you are locked up. You are in some type of uh, fender bender that you cannot get out of. Because this woman in this group, they're sitting back eagerly waiting for you to be caught up in some type of situation you cannot get out of. And you're going to get out of it. Like, what kind of, what kind of, I don't even know the word to use to express this. Like, it's just like a lack of empathy, a lack of emotions, a lack of human nature. I don't even know how these people can call themselves or consider themselves to be human with the way they behave and carry themselves, think and talk, act. How can you even call yourself a human? 
It's like there's some type of demonic entity or there are demonic entities attached to these people. And maybe they don't know it or they have happily uh, merged with these uh, demonic entities. And they're just out here carrying out the wicked ways of the devil, i.e. this woman in this institution. Because the devil is not a being, it's an energy. She considers herself, I guess, to be the, the head of this institution, the, the devil in the institution, the leader, El Diablo, Baba Yega. That's what she, apparently she is, because that's how she carries herself. Like, there's something about someone's energy when you are around her. Like, someone has learned how to mask her energy. You may think that she's pure and kind-hearted and she's genuine. But if you don't... That, that's for people that don't have spiritual eyes. Their senses are not as alert. They're not. Their clairs are not as active as they should be. If you are someone where your clairs are active and you come across this woman, maybe you'll see the demon, demon right before you. The entity. That dark energy. Someone is bubbly because she has money. If she didn't have money, if you took her money away, the demon will come out. Oh, the demon will come out. Yeah, she's bubbly because she feels that she has authority. She has connections in places, in many places, she says. But once she loses all those connections and all that money, the real demon will come out. It's that, oh, you mean you're not able to tolerate what you've been putting someone else through? You mean you can't even stand the heat and you've been in the kitchen this whole time pretending? Oh, how were you in the kitchen this whole time? Oh, you turned the heat down. Okay, you know what? We're going to turn the heat up because we need the heat to cook. So we're going to turn this stove on. Good luck. There goes the heat blazing and sis is on her way out. So you want to affect this kind of person? Take the money away. Let them lose access to all the money. You'll see her for who she is. That bubbly, oh my gosh, I am just trying to make sure we're taken care of. Uh, the money is good. Everybody is happy. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All of that is going to be out the door. Out the door. Okay? But anyways, thank you for watching, folks. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.